Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We are taking a walk back through time today because once again, the Dream World team are on their own. And boy, does it show in this update. We went from last week's update, which was a massive, massive list of just nonsense, to a small list of nonsense. So we kick this week's update off with Lotus, our, our favorite household scissor, posting about update week 16. This update is titled, very fittingly, Cleaning Up the Wake of Last Week's Huge Release. Now, I'm not sure whether they're talking about their bell movements or the updates at this point, but we'll continue anyway. Set recipes as quests to hunt the resources you need. Gold star in the crafting interface. So this week they decided to make an update to recipes and crafting. Now, despite the fact that everybody was rather confused last week about needing to use fish to craft a crystal shovel, these guys just thought, no, that's how that's going to be. What we're going to do instead is allow you to now set that as a quest, which I couldn't even get to work. So I'm going to put up a picture of the forest because the forest's gathering quest thing on the sidebar is apparently what this is supposed to be. So, yay. Well done. Well, what, a, what a waste of an update. I mean, it, it's pretty cool to have in the UI if it works, but oh well. Hunger balanced. You won't get hungry as quickly. Now, this is great. This is a good update, right? This is one thing that I can credit them for in this week's update. Hunger was horrendous. Every step you took, pretty much, your hunger went down. Now, that would be great, but in, in true Dreamworld fashion, they've still somehow fucked it up. So now, players are spawning at half health if they die, and they are completely hungry, which means they start to die from the second they spawn in. Now, half health is not enough health for you to run out into the woods, kill a bear, grab its meat, come back, cook it, and eat it. You will in fact be dead by then. It makes no sense. And none at all. It's like they're using a monkey on a typewriter to develop these updates. They just don't make sense. This would have been like a one minute test on their part. Oh, okay, we've changed the way that you respawn in after dying. So let's test dying and see if we're able to actually survive after. Well, no, you can't. Moving on to the next one. Sharks are less OP. <laughs> now, this one really tickles me because I didn't even know there were sharks in Dreamworld. I had no idea. They can't be that OP if they're if they're unable to find players, because I didn't even know sharks were in the game. I assume they added it when they added the absolutely cursed black wave water. But still, this, this says a lot about your game. If your game doesn't have much, and I'm still unaware of one of the features of your game. Now, this has now made me really want to find a shark, actually, because I'm pretty sure it'll follow me onto land and just flop about up a hill. It'll, it'll just look like every single appearance of Magikarp in the Pokemon anime. It's just going to be flopping around on the beach like a noodle. And of course, now we're getting into the fluff of the update. Somebody actually pointed out their, their structure of updates, and it's quite comical, because if you put it side by side, it's pretty accurate. Fixed a trivial thing that shouldn't have been broken in the beginning. Fixed something that nobody even knew was in the game. Worded an update in a way that makes no sense, and I couldn't tell whether it's serious or not. Fix something that wasn't broken. Asset pack. And then just bug fixes, polishing, and quality of life changes. You know, just a catch-all term. Smoothened the late game progression. I'm sorry, this game actually has no progression. No progression at all. You can't say you've fixed late game progression when there is no progression across the board as a whole. The only thing this game has going for it in terms of progression is the weekly updates because it makes progressively less sense each week. Improved flying and wave emote animation. I, I'm going to assume that they have fixed them or improved them because there's... I, I, don't, I don't see a difference. The tool slot is back. Yes, that is right. <laughs> The, the much-loved tool slot accidentally got deleted in the last update somehow. Now they're playing medic and just fixing all the things they removed from last week's update. And of course, as with every weekly patch note, many other bug fixes, polishing and quality of life changes. 
Oh, Christ. But those updates are probably not the reason you clicked this video. You're here for the festival. Yeah, it's, a, it's as disappointing as you thought it was going to be. So, Zach put out a message. Hey everyone, I'm building a festival type area by the forest teleport and I'd love to have other people build around it. I'm going to take a video in the coming few days and I'd love to have your creativity be a part of the video. You should see the area diagonally to the left coming out of the portal. I'll put a flag up too. Zach was tasked with building the festival area, which was a disaster in itself. Anything Zach has made so far, design-wise, looks like something that my mum used to pin up on the fridge and then sneak into the bin the next day while I was at school. So, the first building that's already there, it wasn't a flag, by the way, it was a tower uh, that, that Zach built. Now, just like Dreamworld itself, this was built out of a jumble of assets that don't make any sense. They'd stacked 15 lanterns high as pillars and then used leaves as walls. I just don't know what goes through their heads when they design these things. So already it's looking pretty, pretty poor, pretty piss poor. And then we got the message we'd all been waiting for. Hey all, if you want to be part of something fun later, jump in at 5pm. 5.5 hours from now, which by the way, I was in bed. I'm not going to lie, I, I wasn't staying up for this, I went to bed. And it's just as well, because, um, you know those glorious fireworks from the Kickstarter trailer? Well, they're back with a vengeance, baby. They hosted a festival in Dreamworld where they launched the same fireworks that lagged their trailer into oblivion. Now, I actually have re a really fun story about this. I obviously didn't make it there because I had to have an early night. So I'd asked somebody to record it for me. Somebody was like, yes, I will record it for you. I will turn up to festival and I will record it for you. And my God, is this a better story than anyone could have imagined. So my undercover spy that went to record for me actually had his game completely crash. Not just his game, because this gets even better. His, his 3060 graphics card crashed it turned his pc off and ended the recording corrupting it so all we have is this screenshot from my discord where even in the chat of this you can see that people are just saying that their gpus are absolutely dying they've used the same fireworks with no changes whatsoever it, the the stupidity of these guys is so unfathomable that i i'm not surprised anymore so this is very telling of how badly this went. Ten people showed up to this firework display. By the end of it, there were about four left. I, I can only imagine that six valiant GPUs have all fallen to the firework display. Honestly, I can't wait to see what they come up with next week. I, I really can't. As always, guys, a massive thank you to the Patreons. Now, I'm going to be live over on Twitch as this premieres. So. If you want to see how I managed to get 97 tiles for free in Earth 2, well, you better hop over because I've got a story to tell you.